So this is George and he's 10 years old. He's an African tortoise. Bean is a little Nigerian dwarf goat. This is Stardust and um, he's 45 years old. He's a good boy. Stardust has a great following. He has a lot of fans. He gets Christmas cards. They're good babies. Winslow Farm Sanctuary is a place where animals have been taken from abuse, neglect, and now live in a safe haven. The buttercups are in bloom today. I was born and raised over there in a little log cabin. My father was a tool engineer and my mother was a cake decorator in a supermarket. By the time I was 17, I was very independent and goal-driven except I couldn't move out of the house because I was still caring for my father. And then I realized I didn't want to move. Um, there was a big awakening there. I worked for a veterinarian for 12 years um, and learned a lot about medical procedures and cats and dogs. I learned quite a bit about operations on horses and medications and temperaments and how to be around them. I went to an auction looking for antiques for my house. At the end of that auction, they're pulling these rabbits out of um, little crates and holding them up by their scruffs I didn't know what was really happening. I didn't know about animal auctions that farm animals get brought to and they're auctioned off for meat. The more I was learning about the plight of farm animals, how they're being processed and the amounts of animals and how they do it, it just tore me apart. Step uncle was here one day. He said, you need to start somewhere. You need to put a sign out on that driveway. And that very day, I made one out of cardboard. And it all began. It was important for me to do one thing every year. That was my rhythm, like build a barn every single year, maintain something the following year. the nanny goat because <laughs> she's a nanny to the goat. <laughs> you have to know how to say no and I can and I always have. If I cannot financially pay for them, it could turn into a bad situation with all these animals or if we're down three people suddenly. It's a fine balance to maintain um, and I'm really strict about it. Oh, she's being brushed, they're brushing her. And it took a couple years just to even present a brush to her. It's 
touching to see um, her to enjoy her life. That's our goal here, my goal for all these animals. I knew I cannot save the world, but it made a difference to thousands of animals that I have had. And it's great for the kids. Hi, George. Hi, George. What are you doing? Where are you going, George? It was very important to me to have people to come to a place where they can feel and touch and smell and love and see it for real. They walk out of here a different person, and I hear it time and time again. So many thank you notes, so many messages back. So it's all love.